Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today we have come to Golders Green Crematorium. Now we know there are lots and lots of famous people's plaques here, so we're going to have a look for a few of them and uh, have a good look around on the walls and see who we can find and um, yeah, give you some information as and when I can as well. Um, so let's go and have a little nose, shall we? Um, now I was given a map for this place, right? But let me tell you, it was blooming awful. It, when I printed it out, I was just like, couldn't read anything on it. I do have my glasses, but you know, just couldn't read much on there at all, to be honest with you. So we're just gonna have a little walk around and see if we can see some of the big plaques that are up on the wall and then some that are in the, uh, the grounds as well. So we'll do that now. It's a big place, it's a big area. And unless you know what you're looking for, <laughs> you've got two hopes. <laughs> anyway, if you liked the video today, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, and likewise, uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos come out. But this is good, this is part of the fun. I don't want to know straight away where everything is. I like to have a good nose around. Look where we can those around in here as well. It's massive. Dame Barbara Windsor, OBE, born Barbara Ann Deeks, 6th of August 1937 to the 10th of December 2020. She was born in Sawditch, London in 1937, the only child of John Deeks, a bus driver, and his wife Rose, a dressmaker. The family lived on Angela Street. Her maternal great-grandmother was the daughter of Irish immigrants who fled Ireland to Great Britain between 1846 and 1851 to escape the Great Famine of Ireland. In 1939, at the start of World War II, Windsor's father was called up for the war, so she and her mother went to live with her mother's family in Yokeley Road, Stoke Newington. Barbara's mother initially refused to let her be evacuated, but conceded after one of her friends was killed by a bomb during an air raid. Age six, Windsor was evacuated to Blackpool to live with a couple, but they attempted to sexually abuse her. A neighbor heard her screams and alerted the authorities. The couple were arrested and were found to not be married, but were brother and sister. Windsor came to prominence with her portrayals of a good time girl in nine Carry On films. Her first was Carry On Spying in 1964, and her final one was Carry On Dick in 1974. She also appeared in several Carry On television and compilation specials between 1964 and 1977. One of her best known scenes was in Carry On Camping 1969, where her bikini top flew off during an outdoor aerobic exercises. In typical Carry On style exposure, she implied but little is in fact seen. From 1973 to 1975, she appeared with several of the Carry On team in the West End review Carry On London. She was strongly identified with the Carry On films for many years, which restricted the role she was offered later in her career. When EastEnders launched in 1985, the producers said they would not cast well-known actors, although Wendy Richard was a rare exception. Windsor has stated that she would have liked to have been part of the original cast. By 1994, this policy was relaxed and Barbara accepted an offer to join EastEnders. She took over the role of Peggy Mitchell, who was previously a minor character played by Joan Warne in 1991. She received the Best Actress Award at the 1999 British Soap Awards and a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2009 British Soap Awards. A debilitating case of the Epstein-Barr virus forced a two-year absence from the role between 2003 and 2005. She rejoined the cast full-time in the summer of 2005. In October 2009, Barbara announced that she was to leave her role as Peggy Mitchell, saying she wanted to spend more time with her husband. On the 10th of September 2010, her character left Albert Square after a fire destroyed the Queen Vic, of which she was the owner. In November 2015, Barbara secretly filmed a return to EastEnders, which was shown in January 2016. After this, the character was confirmed to be killed off later in the year. This was Windsor's decision as she said that she would always be open to a return to the show unless bosses decided to kill the character off. Her last appearance aired on the BBC One on the 17th of May 2016. 
on the 25th of January 2022, by which time Windsor had died, an episode aired in which Peggy's son, Phil Mitchell, Steve McFadden, hears his mother's voice giving him advice. The scene was made using archived audio from previous episodes. Barbara was married to Ronnie Knight, 2nd of March 1964, and divorced in January 1985. Stephen Hollings, a chef, restaurateur, married the 12th of April 1986 and divorced 1995. Scott Mitchell, former actor and recruitment consultant, married on the 8th of April 2000 until death. Prior to her marriage tonight, Windsor had a one-night stand with East End criminal Reggie Cray and a longer relationship with his older brother Charlie Cray. During the time of making her later Carry On films, she had a well-known publicised affair with her fellow actor and co-star Sid James, which lasted three years until 1976. In April 2014, Windsor was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. She chose not to make the condition public, but it was known to her friends and colleagues. On the 10th of May 2018, Barbara's husband Scott Mitchell publicly revealed her condition. In January 2019, Mitchell and some of Barbara's former co-stars from EastEnders announced that they would be running the London Marathon in aid of a dementia campaign. Mitchell said that Windsor's health and mental state had been deteriorating and she had moments where she no longer recognised him. She died on the 10th of December 2020, aged 83. The next episode of EastEnders broadcast on the 11th of December 2020 was dedicated to her memory as well as this, the 2017 biopic Barbs, which documented Windsor's life, was also broadcast. <laughs> anyway, let's have a little look around here, shall we? In loving memory of Dame Barbara Windsor, 6th of August 1937 to the 10th of December 2020, Babs, actress adored by husband Scott Mitchell, family friends and her many fans. She was a good bird. <laughs> That's fantastic, isn't it? But then when you have a look around as well, you know, there's plenty of... Um, plenty of different names here. There really is. See if there's any that you notice. Ed Devereux, actor. Remember this guy? Bernie Winters? Crikey, did he die in 1991? He used to have the dog, didn't he? Was it Schnorbitz? Schnorbitz, whatever it's called, I don't know. Big St. Bernard dog, and he used to have the, um, the like brandy barrel around his neck. No wonder Bernie always looked like he was drunk, bless him. Yeah, I like Bernie Winters, he was cool. And who we got over here? Uh, David Allen Guest, his name rings a bell. Scott, musician. Um, I, mean, I could spend all day here really looking at different names, there's so many. So 
there we have it guys that's just a little video of some of the names that are here at golders green as well for you to look at and of course you know if you ever want to come down it's quite easy to find just come in main entrance turn right up at the end and you'll find them all there um not going to go into too much detail with those ones you know that we, we all know most of them are and i'll be here for a month for sundays and my hands are turning blue as it is um, so i hope you enjoyed that anyway and uh one of them one of them usual stuff uh, leave your comments most important and i'll see you all on the next one take it easy